Here I have two beautiful fillets of salmon, which I trimmed so it looks more like a center cut of the salmon. If you get the, those fillets that taper on the ends, you can just easily trim that off. And uh, I do want to have it this way because then it'll promote even cooking throughout the salmon. Here I have the pieces of the salmon that I trimmed off when I was preparing my center cut for a recipe. And you sure don't want to throw this out because it'll come into good use to make another dish. I'm thinking maybe some salmon or fish chowder would be nice. I'm going to take a lemon and squeeze the juice all over the salmon, the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to let that set for about five minutes or so before I rinse it under cold water and season it. I have a pack of frozen spinach that I thawed out and I'm going to prep this for our recipe. I just washed the salmon off and as you notice I still have the skin on. Some people like to remove the skin when they're cooking but we love the skin especially if you do something like a pan sear or pan frying the fish and you get that nice crispy skin. It's really delicious and not only that, the skin is very nutritious so we certainly like to enjoy that as well. I'm just going to use a simple seasoning for my salmon. I'm going to use some pure Himalayan ancient sea salt. I added a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to my pan on high heat. To that I've added one tablespoon of sweet cream unsalted butter. Now that the butter is melting nicely, I'm going to lower my heat to a medium to medium high. I just added one teaspoon of fresh brown garlic. Now I'm going to add my spinach. Now I'm just going to add some kosher salt and some coarse ground black pepper to taste. After you've added the salt and the pepper, make sure you taste it and just to check, make sure it's got the right flavor for yourself. I'm only going to saute the spinach for maybe two or three minutes because I do want to retain some of that nice green color. The longer you cook spinach, the darker it's going to get, like when you're cooking bhaji and you get that kind of deep, deep, dark color. So I'm going to take this off in a few more seconds. I pull the spinach off the heat and now I'm going to let this cool down. I also have some sliced tomatoes, which is going to be the next component of our dish. Here's my baking dish that I rubbed with some extra virgin olive oil. I added my salmon skin side down to the baking dish. When the spinach is cool, add it to the top of the salmon. What I want to do is really kind of coat the whole salmon with the spinach. So try to divide it evenly in equal portions, I should say, between the two fillets or how many ever that you have, that you're doing. I have these gorgeous Persian lines, so I'm just going to lay a couple slices on there. I 
Now I'm just gonna sprinkle on some of this great pink Himalayan sea salt. And for a final note, I just added a few sprigs of thyme. My oven's been preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm going to put the baking dish into the oven. And this is going on the middle rack of the oven. After 20 minutes, I took the fish out of the oven. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some panko seasoned breadcrumbs. And now it's back in the oven. I'm also raising the temperature from 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot out of the oven. And you can hear that sizzling. For a final garnish, I added some more fresh thyme and also some lime zest. And you would be amazed as soon as that hit that hot fish, the aromas were amazing. So our total cooking time on this was 28 minutes. It was 20 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then about 8 more minutes on 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a few different layers of flavor because we have the tomatoes with the crunchy breadcrumb topping and the spinach and the salmon and they all go so really well together and also that added little zing at the end with the lime zest and the fresh thyme. This is the salmon chowder I was telling you guys I was thinking of making out of the trimmings from the salmon. Be on the lookout for it and I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys.